Guys, welcome back. We are now going to do the old 7018 showdown. We have Hobart, Lincoln, Vulcan from Harbor Freight, Aesop, and Blue Demon. If you watched the last video, we just did 6010 showdown. Here we are with a little 7018 action. Let's get it. As you guys just saw in the last video, doing a little giveaway action, so make sure you watch this whole video. Stay tuned to the end. I'll tell you how I'm going to do this one. But this was our 6010 coupon showdown here. Uh, we are going to do a little 7018 action. 6010, 7018. I feel are the most common wa uh, rods in the welding industry. If you think differently, let me know. But today, as I just showed you, we have six different brands and i'm gonna throw in another brand which i don't have a case for or bought a five pound can for um murex rod old rod that i had gotten from a friend which was in storage unopened for like uh 20 years actually that's the 332 that's actually the rod i've been using for most of my jobs um the rod sizes we're gonna test today are 332 not eighth inch uh 332 I, I like 332 718 obviously if you're doing bigger stuff you want bigger rod but for a lot of generic general fab projects that you're going to stick well 332 is going to get you where you need to go so these are all 332 as i showed you before all of these are actually sealed up i didn't have one that wasn't sealed up like the uh, 6010 the hobart these are all i bought i bought i bought all these my own money bought them all um, Hobart for some reason right now is very expensive. I think it's like 20 and these are all five pound cans except for this This is a two pound can I think from the Vulcan So if you buy two of them, you have four close enough. Um, there's probably only four pounds in all these anyway, but $27 I believe this is $20. This is uh, I think $8.99 or $7.99 at Harbor Freight So if you times it by two, it's around 16 15 16 this was 20 everything all these are everything's around 20 um again i got all these except for the harbor freight one at bakersgas.com they have a huge variety of rod uh, i'm not affiliated with them i just like their site um and i like their customer service i had a problem one time they fixed it no problem but i got all this stuff from baker's gas they have all brands everything you get welding machines anything on there so if you're looking for stuff baker's gas is a really good place to go um, out of, uh, I think they're Midwest somewhere, Ohio maybe, I'm not sure. But they have fast shipping, uh, usually free shipping if you have uh, over 50 bucks or something like that. So let me uh, get these opened and we'll try them out. All right, opened up the Blue Demon right off the bat. I like that they vacuum packed it. If you guys know, um, 7018's a low hydrogen rod. And, you know, it gets big gets a lot of moisture in it but this comes in a vacuum sealed container inside their plastic container that's really cool now i know esob uh came out with this new their vac pack again another vacuum pack thing this thing's tight so i i never opened it so i'm curious to see so there we go what kind of pack is inside i'll just rip it who cares all right so this thing like you need like chainsaw to open this which is is okay because i want this thing sealed when i buy them brand new all right there we go perfect look at that nice nice vacuum packed 7018 so esob nice job on the packaging harbor freight vulcan not vacuum packed that's all right Let's see. It's a nice looking rod. Harbor Freight. I don't know. Harbor Freight's been coming out with a lot of nicer stuff. The, the welders, I, the new welders they're coming out with, uh, a lot of people rave about them. So nice packaging on there. I will, uh, if I can, try to link a lot of this stuff in my description. Uh, or maybe I'll just link the Baker's, Baker's site. Here is uh, Lincoln's. 
Jet LH. Now this is not Lincoln X caliber. Um, that only comes in 10 pound and 50 pounds. I wasn't willing to buy the 10 pound or the 50 pound. So this is, uh, I think it's just a little lower of a hydrogen rod than the Excalibur. But again, a nice rod. I like that. Excalibur rod really runs nice on job sites. You'll see that on a lot of jobs. It's pretty expensive right now though. And we have Hobart. Tractor Supply, I bought this at Tractor Supply, so I lied, I, I didn't buy this from Baker's. I believe they have it, but I, there's a Tractor Supply 10 minutes from my house, so this is usually, if I'm in a pinch, I'll go there and get some rod. Uh, there's typically not vacuumed, but here we go. I've run a lot of this uh, Hobart Tractor Supply stuff, or not Tractor Supply, just regular Hobart. So that's a nice rod. And um, let me go grab some of that Murex that I was telling you about. All right, here's a handful of that Murex. It's actually, a, this stuff's like 20 years old. My buddy gave me a bunch of boxes of it, 50 pound cans. I've actually been using this. I'm down to almost a quarter of the can uh, jobs. I was using this when I was doing side jobs. I'm still doing side jobs. So when I needed 332, this stuff was working really well. It's not rusted. That was in a sealed can for 20 years and it worked really good. Um, check the link in the video. Um, not the link in the video. Maybe I'll throw the link. It should be in my description. Welding with 20 year old Murex. This stuff is awesome. All right, now that my table's a disaster, let me uh, set up a couple coupons. I kind of, I had these for the 6010. I think I got some flat 316 plate. I might just uh, do some lap joints with that. I gotta start cutting some stuff and see what we got. But I went out and got a little iced coffee. Local shop in town. There's a Dunkin' Donuts in town too, but I blow right through that Dunkin' Donuts. I do not like Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Support the local business, little plug right in town good coffee i drink black coffee it's awesome so all right let me uh get some metal going here and then we'll get the welding all right we're gonna go a little different here i, I have a lot of metal over there but this is uh gonna be the easiest it's just two scrap pieces so i'm just gonna do a fillet weld so i'll do a little piece there here 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 you know stitch welded almost but i'll use all the brands so I'll go down the line. I'll start with, well, let's just go this. We'll do Lincoln, Hobart, Esau, Harbor Freight, Blue Demon, and the Murex. So let me get it hooked up, get my uh, lens back on here, and we'll start going. Here's uh, the setup. <laughs> Thick shade, two clears, a couple rubber bands. That's it. All right, so. We're gonna use the old Everlast once more. Listen, this thing, it's a its a MIG welder, but it's really good at stick welding. This thing lays really nice. So we're on, that says 6010 mode. So we wanna get off of that. We will go to standard stick. We want arc force. I like running 7018, not a whole lot. Pipe weld, I like a lot of arc force, but we'll just leave it at zero. Hot start, we'll do half a second and then i like the quick nice burst hot start 60 percent and we're gonna leave it at 85 i like 85 is good
gonna do? I'm gonna take a chipping hammer and see how easy the slag comes off each one of the chipping hammer. Check this thing out. It's in my description. Get yourself one. Let's go. Lincoln's number one. Always, always easy. All right. Hold bar. Here we go. Bart, pretty good. He sobs next. He sobs nice. Vulcan, Harbor Freight. This was the one I was most curious about. Wow, that came off nice. Blue Demon. Heard a lot of good things about Blue Demon. All right, and the Murex rod. I know this slag's a little hard to get off. As I say that, it comes off in one piece. All right, let's clean it up so we can get a better look-see. Here we go, here's Lincoln. I wish this thing would zoom in better. That's a pretty nice one. Hobart looks nice. Esab, I always liked how Esab ran. The Vulcan actually ran very nice. Blue Demon, extremely nice. And the Murex laid down a nice one too. All of these are really nice welds. They all ran very similar. Um, I didn't touch the machine as I told you. You know, it's hard to pick. Um, honestly, hard to pick. Uh, the Vulcan actually looks the nicest, I think, out of all of them, but it ran a little funky. The Blue Demon ran very nice. The Lincoln ran good to start. The Hobart, the Hobart, they all run good. Honestly, they all run good. Um, although the nicest one that I ran, I'm going to give it to the winner there, Aesop. I I've run that a lot. I've run most of these. I've never run Vulcan. Uh, I've never run this kind of Lincoln before. This is, like I said, not the Excalibur Lincoln. It's called this. They call it Jet Low Hydrogen. So that's the only thing they sell in five pound cans. I wanted to get all five pounds. So a good comparison on price, if price is a factor, all five pounds. You can't get uh, Excalibur in a five pound can. So. And the, the Harbor Freight one, you can buy two two-pounders and you're close enough to five. So um, I'm going to give it to Esob. Esob, to me, ran the nicest. That's going to be the winner, a winning thing. It's not just my, my favorite. The Murex, though, Murex ran really nice. I like the Murex. Blue Demon, they, they all ran good. But the, the one that I like the crisp, the crispness the most is the Esob. So the backpack... Oh, they're falling out the bottom. But nice packaging. You know, you got your Hobart and Lincoln. Everyone's got their different packaging, but um, that's it. I'll, I'll, I'll say Esob was my favorite. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick two winners, again, like the last video. Be sure, if you didn't watch my video before about the 6010, go back and watch it. You have a chance to win a can of that. So this one... I'm going to let the two winners pick what they want. Um, I can send you a handful of Murex. I'll give you roughly five pounds. I probably have five pounds of it. I probably have probably close to 15 pounds of it. Maybe not 15. You pick. You can pick Murex, which is this. If you want the case of Blue Demon, if you want the Vulcan, Esob, Hobart, Lincoln. I'm going to pick two winners, same thing as last time. You need to be subscribed. Make sure you're subscribed. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. Next thing you got to do is shoot a comment down below. Anything. If you like the video, um, your thoughts, I'll pick anyone who comments on the video. Give each video probably a week. I'll wait a week. I will comment in a week, and I'll pin my comment on the two winners of this one and the on the last video of the 6010. If you're watching this video and you didn't see the 6010 video, it came out yesterday. So do me a favor, subscribe to my channel if you guys like what I'm doing. I have a few more side job projects coming. I've been wanting to do this for a while. No one on YouTube that I've found 
has compared different brands. I think it's a cool video. I appreciate it, guys. MCF Welding. This is what I do. My name is Matt, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Check back in a week. See what's going on.